Hi, and welcome to Easy Fishing. Well, it's the last day of the river season, and I've finally got down to the river. I've got about four hours, if I'm lucky, which is longer than normal, admittedly, but I would have liked more. So anyway, conditions don't look good. I had a look at the river yesterday, and it was up, and today, it's up at about another four inches from the mark I put in yesterday. But if I haven't got a bait in the water, I can't catch. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. Tackle I'm using today. I'm on the pole, six sections out, so not far. Due to the strength of the flow, I've had to use what's called a lollipop float, one of these. Um, 018 to an 014 fluorocarbon hook length, size 10, canvas MB983, bait is half a lobworm. Uh, to feed it, because of the depth here, it's about this is a shallower swim, so it's only about uh, nine foot deep. But loose feeding in this flow is a waste of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bait dropper on my cupping kit, chop loads of lobworms and feed them in. So let's get on with that. So what I'm going to do is chop up a lot of bait. Now, I feel in these coloured conditions, uh, the fish will have trouble finding the bait. So, to my chop worms, I'm going to add some Predator Plus liquid. I've used it for years. I'm not sure if it works, but it hasn't stopped me from catching fish, more importantly. So, I'm going to give that a good glug in there. So, let's get on with the scissors. So, here I have about 20 lobworms and a good handful of dendrobinas. I'm going to chop them up small and add a good glug. Then Edward Scissor hands. Now I'm going to chop them up fairly fine because I want the maximum attractant without feeding the fish. And Predator Plus has a, is a bright red liquid that stains your fingers so you're going to go home with red fingers but it does wash off. So I'm using a bait dropper, not a huge one. And uh, just fasten to the end of my cupping kit. All I've done is take the screw out of the cup and screw it in there, lasso the line round. Nice and simple. Now when you're using a bait dropper, don't overfill it. And I forgot the cable tie. I'm also going to introduce some pinkies as well in an effort to uh, keep the perch coming.
ความโม้Right, and that's a swim fish. Um, Pinky seem to attract perch and tench and all sorts of fish, species of fish. So uh, I'm just probably going to tip the lobworm with a pinky or something. Red hands already. Oh well. And there we have it. Half a lob. A couple of pinkies as a sight. Now you'll notice I'm sitting on my seat box and I have a bump bar to keep the pole still because this is a waiting game. So you do need to be comfortable. And now, it's merely a case of sitting and waiting. Now, because the wind is gusting quite strongly, I guess it's sort of southwesterly, sort of, southwest to southeast. Um, I've had to bury the pole tip under the water to try and uh, keep the pole a bit stiller. But if you do that, be careful when you strike. Elastic is a 14 solid because it's deep. I've got a big hook and a big bait and I need to set the hook home. In deep water like this, hollow, I don't find as good. So I've been fishing for about uh, 30 minutes without a bite. So I'm going to introduce some more chopped worms with some chopped maggots. with some Predator Plus in it. Pretty disgusting mess. Wish I'd remembered my cable tie would have made life a lot easier for this. Just introduced two more dropper falls. Well, still no bites. I've just fed another bait dropper in, so I'm doing it about every half an hour. And uh, a teenage boy has just come up to me and said hello. Who he said he recognised me from my uh, Easy Fishing channel. So hi to you, young man, whatever your name is. He was uh, lure fishing for perch and that, and I was pleased to see he had a wire trace and uh, forceps and stuff. So, good luck to you young man, I hope you catch. Uh, on my side of the fishing, still nothing to report I'm afraid. Very slow. But, I'm going to keep trying, like I said it's the last day of the season, this looks like it could be a blank, but a lot of these people put videos up they never show the ones where they struggle but i don't mind that so much because fishing doesn't always go to plan as i've said before we all have good days and bad days and i'm really up against it with the conditions today um, what i might try in a little while is swapping to a smaller hook and uh see if i can if it's a day when they want a smaller bait, I doubt it because, uh, but you never know. You can't tell with fishing. Like I say, all I've got is lobworms, uh, a few pinkies and maggots and uh, a small amount of uh, dendrobenas. So I shall, you know, try ringing the changes and see if any, anything will happen. We'll just have to wait and see. I had a bite, blimey, and I missed it. Well, perhaps something's about to happen.
And to be honest today, if I get a two ounce perch, I'll have considered that I'll have done well. So I spoke to a couple of anglers just as I arrived here. They'd be fishing here for three hours without a bite and moved, but I don't have that luxury. I'm just hoping that the fish will turn up at some time. It might not be until the last knockings, but got to be in it to win it. Oh, and some of these gusts are very strong, mates, holding them. I've got the pole jammed up against my legs as well. Try and keep it still in this wind, but the gusts are quite strong. I say it's a lovely day, though, and I mean it's a lovely day for compared to some of the weather that we've had recently. So, just need a fish. Incidentally, I had to buy these lobworms, and that hurt. I don't like buying bait. especially at the price of lobworms, but I've been unable to get out and renew my supply. I only had two or three worms left. Well, it's not getting any easier. I've been here two and a half hours. One bite, which I missed. Uh, the river flow has increased. I've had to put on a bigger flat float. I've had to put on a three grammar as opposed to two. I've bait droppered about 50 lobworms chopped up probably a quarter of a pint of maggots and pickies and some dendrobinas. I've tried uh, big baits on a big hook, a uh, single maggot and double maggot on a 16, uh, to fight a line, and now I'm back on the uh, half a lobworm on a size 10. And I must admit, this is looking grim. I did not expect to, uh, it to be this hard, but with this, these conditions, and the weatherman's got the forecast wrong again. It was supposed to be 12 degrees, well, it's more like five or six. Uh, I know this because my hands are going numb. Um, the wind chill is quite something as well where I am, it's quite exposed. So I'm just gonna keep plodding along and hoping. Well, it looks like I'm defeated. I've got about 15 minutes left. I've tried everything I have can in the book. The best thing I can say is about it is I did hook, well, I didn't hook it. A very small fish took my worm and dropped off as I lifted it out. And that is the sum total of my efforts. I've been here for uh, three and a half hours for one bite. So, a very sad end to the uh, river season, but uh, you can't win them all. And uh, I know this is a heartbreak water and I know conditions are really against me, but I did hope that I would winkle out one or two fish. So I've got about 15 minutes left, so fingers crossed, one fish to save the day would be great. I've fed quite a lot of bait into the swim in an effort to uh, make something happen, but uh, it's just not happened, so. I don't really know what to say, I've tried everything I know, but uh, these fish, it's cold, it's flooded, what can I say? Uh, 
and we're in and it's a decent fish well what can I say just hope we can get it out now this feels like a, a decent tench oh yes or a bream I don't know what I've got Please don't come off, please. Whatever it is, it's a good fish. I'd say it's a bream, but... Oh yes, it's a slab. And yes, we're in. I love this river. I hate it as well. But when it comes good, it comes good. Now that is a proper chunky slab. And there we have a proper slab. That's got to be five pound plus. And he wanted that lugworm. So persistence paid off. So thanks for watching Easy Fishing. Although this hasn't been an easy session. And I hope I'll catch up with you very soon. There you go. What a fish. Mwah.